back on the RX again. It's been fun, but I think you're you're getting set to beat cam status. Step Definitely not something you see every day, just a train going down the middle of the road. <laughs> you watching up you watching from up there, buddy? Have you seen James Brown? You can't seem to track him down. Definitely good to see these once trolley tracks getting some use, right? But don't let that Vegas showgirl sign fool you. We're not in Vegas. James Brown's life started in Barnwell, a small town in South Carolina during the Great Depression in 1933. Extremely impoverished, they eventually made their way over to Georgia. Augusta, Georgia, where we are now. It's the only place that I know that has an Augusta and then a North Augusta that's in a different state. Are you sure you don't know where James Brown is? Looks like he could have been here by the little edgings on the window. Got some jazz bits. And is that a wagon wheel? Oh, Jesus Christ, look at that thing. <laughs> it's a full wagon. Hateful Eight style. Hey, mama rock me. Bow, bow, wow, wow. Right across the road here is a James Bronze. <laughs> a James Brown statue that is bronze. Fun fact, his name wasn't actually James Brown. It was John James Brown, but they swapped it on the birth certificate. Man himself. Kevin Hart sized. The coolest thing about this place is that it'll actually take a picture for you. Georgia Music Hall of Fame, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, Kennedy Center of the Arts. And he says that Augusta has been his home since he moved here when he was five. And I'm always used to being the smallest guy in the room at 5'10". He's 5'6". Does it work? Does it work? Yeah, yeah, it works. I don't know where the speakers are. <laughs> You're almost as tall as him. You're about the same size as him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you saw him back in the day? Yeah. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and say time got the best of this one. Good idea, though. Augusta's even used to be one of the capitals of Georgia. And James Brown almost had more wives than Georgia had capitals. It was close, but no cigar. It's my favorite mural so far. Not sure what significance these guys have, but I'm guessing it has something to do with old James Brown over there. Or over here. Maybe these are from that historical Lennox Theater. It's not been torn down. That's where James Brown got his start. How long you think they wait till they give up? Now she's checking. Nada. After James's mother left him at two and her father, after they left South Carolina, they found a home at their aunt's brothel on Twig Street. Aunt Honey was her name and sex was her game. Not quite sure where, because everything's just completely abandoned. I mean, come on, look at this. Basically, exactly what it was back then. I mean, this was basically a collection of places black people could live back then. It looks like it would have been right here. I don't think this is the original building, but it's now a steel horseman facility. I'm gonna leave it right there. I'm not trying to get into any like Sons of Anarchy business, but <laughs> this is right, this is the number that would have been right here. He would have lived in a house. Lived in massive poverty. They were super poor and he would used to have to pay his way. He would have to shine shoes and even get men for his aunt's business. Want to come over to my aunt's business over there? She'll, uh, you know. That's an example of sex selling, literally. He even hid in this very canal from police breathing out of a cane. He saw it in a movie. He said the police said you can either go to a reform school or stay in the water. He chose to stay in the water. His aunt might have even gotten her tires changed here or maybe even some gas. 
It's crazy to think that he only made it to sixth grade. The cops finally caught up to him at the age of 16 for a string of car thefts. He went to jail in Toccoa, Georgia. Not all a bad thing though. He was supposed to serve 8 to 16. He only served four years and he started a gospel group in the church or in the prison. On James Brown's own boulevard is the place where he got his first acknowledgement that he was anything at the age of 11 at a talent show at Lenox Theater. In 1944, this would have made him 11. He performed a talent show at the Lenox Theater that used to sit right here and won singing a song called So Long. And that might just be the same house on the left. I can't tell though. Still get a little look right here. The flooring. The cement, brick. Sometimes wonder if people know what they're driving and walking by. This would have been, this area right here would have been where he performed his buck dances for troops of the Second World War on their way to Camp Gordon. It said that James Brown rehearsed in this very theater, him and his band putting countless hours into their act. Look at the ceiling. Ceiling is born as hell. He potentially has more nicknames than Babe Ruth. The Colossus of Clout? The Great Bambino? Well, he's nicknamed the Godfather of Soul, the Inventor of Funk, the Grandfather of Hip Hop. If you haven't heard him, you've probably heard the many, many people he's influenced. Those being Mick Jagger, Michael Jackson, Jay-Z. Now, some of his 60-year career was spent in jail. He did another stint in 1989 for possessing PCP and a pistol and going into an insurance conference and asking people, gun drawn, why are you using my private bathroom? Oh, of course these people weren't. He was just high on PCP. So he did another six years and six months. And on August 22nd, 2006, they dedicated the Augusta Richmond Civic Center to Mr. Brown, the hardest working man in show business. Just another nickname. On December 25th, 2006, Christmas Day he died. And countless people filled this arena in memorial of him. He can come up from the down. I mean, if, if he can do it, so can we. Shining shoes, picking cotton, super poor, black. In the heyday of segregation, if he can do it, so can you. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.